I'm truly humbled and honored to receive the 2017 NRHA President's Award and happy to have a few minutes of your time to share my passion for rural health. Some of my motivation came from a phone call I received in 2008 from the Federal Office of Rural Health Policy and they asked me a very straightforward question. Uh, they said, Mary, why does Idaho have the lowest public reporting rates for critical access hospitals in the nation? And I thought I had a pretty good understanding of rural health issues in Idaho. After all, I had been in my position for five whole years, but this really started me on an incredible journey focused on identifying challenges and opportunities from an Idaho CAH and rural health clinic perspective, because quite honestly, isn't that what it's really about? I've had the pleasure of traveling our beautiful state in all corners and communities, and what an amazing opportunity to meet, to learn, to listen, to build relationships and partnerships. I love the people, I love the organizations, the uniqueness and the beauty of Idaho. I have tremendous appreciation for the passion and dedication of rural health providers and leaders. They truly are the power of rural. Understanding our rural perspective provides opportunities to develop and implement programs and resources that meets their needs. We now have two loan repayment programs and previously we had none. We provide an array of resources and training to support rural health clinics, critical access hospitals, and our free medical clinics. The foundation of this success is truly the staff in the Bureau of Rural Health and Primary Care, their willingness to actively engage partners, rural stakeholders, and to see opportunities where others may see barriers is really remarkable. I can still remember the first time we came up with some good ideas to help rural communities. I was standing in front of a display poster at a conference in Idaho as a brand new rural faculty. Since then, the Community APCAR program has actually occurred in nine states in Southern Australia, and look at all of the good things that have happened. You're one of the most hardworking and humble people Everyone loves working with you. You're an incredibly talented person, but even more, you have a heart for rural that just doesn't stop. And all the years I've worked with Mary have been really uh, encouraging. In about 2003, uh, her, she and her uh, office sent me to an uh, annual rural conference in Colorado where I was able to network with others in rural health and bring those ideas and best practices back to Idaho with me. Thank you, Mary Sheridan. The word that comes to mind is generous. She's generous with her knowledge, her resources, her information, and even her smile. She is a huge advocate for rural care in the state of Idaho, and I'm so glad that she's getting recognized for it. Congrats. And look at this. The most recent FLEX monitoring team report now indicates that Idaho critical access hospitals exceed the national rate for public reporting among all critical access hospitals. I knew they could do it. All we needed to do was to listen, to learn, to understand their perspective and provide them with the resources and support that they need to do what they do best. Thank you so much.